all right guys we got a question to solve on compound interest and um for those of us who have seen question on this we are quite familiar with how to solve it manually but now how do we solve it with using the scientific calculator easily with without stress so basically we already know that the formula for compound interest is a equals to p open bracket one plus r over n raised to power n over t raised to power n times t so we know that n is equals to one if we are to solve or if we are to calculate yearly and n equals to if we are to calculate half yearly and two of if we are to calculate monthly y r in itself is whatever rate we are given over 100 so we got a question from itbullseye.com i'm going to be sharing the link in the description and um the question was to calculate the amount if we have a principal of 20,000 rupees at the rate of 10% for three years. So how do we do that with the calculator? Now, basically, if you have to do that manually, all you have to do is A equals to P open bracket 1 plus R, which is 10%, 10 over 100 over N. Our N is yearly, so it's 1. So we are going to ignore that, which is 10 over 100 raised to power n, which is 1 times t, 3. So then we have to go through this manually and we solve. Sorry, our p is 20,000. So 20,000, open bracket, 1 plus 10 over 100 times 1 times 3. And I deliberately leave this, so we do this. So all you have to do manually is to calculate this to get the amount. So but how do you do that or how do you go through this process is using the scientific calculator so i'll be showing us how to do that using the casio fx991 ex plus the second edition if you have the previous uh, the first one the previous edition you can also use it it's basically the same way or you probably have another model or brand of es plus that's no problem this method would only work if you're using es plus or any um any of the calculator models above es plus that's like ex the class is so what you have to do is you impute the formula so it's called um like a recursive kind of method so what you have to do is create putting the formula into the calculator and then putting the values of each of the variables you have in that formula and then the calculator runs and solves it for you so so let's go through this first so we have to impute the formula which is a equals to p open bracket 1 plus r over n raised to power n times t so let's go so we put alpha a then equals to you press alpha and calc you have equals to p now there is no p on the calculator so i'm going to be representing each of the variables with variables on the calculator or letters on the calculator so so let's say b open bracket now i have one plus r over n so since i'll be using r over n i have this from this button for numerator and denominator so let's say my r is going to be let's say c over then n n n what should i use for n let's say f i don't know just something then close the brackets then raised to power nt right so this is the raised to power button and nt so i have my f and let's say d right so this is the formula on the calculator since i have the formula on the calculator now i can press shift and calc now shift and calc if you look at it has the solve on it so we are solving for a right i have an error yeah the reason i have an error is because Whenever you are solving for variables or functions on a calculator, you do not start with or you do not look for any variable different from x and y. So now I have to go back and remove a and represent a with x. Do you get it? So now if I press shift calc now, it's asking for the values of each of the variables in that formula. I hope you get that. Then so v is our p, which is 20,000 so I put in 20,000 equals to so I press equals to 
so we go to c our c is the rate now our rate is 10 percent right so we have 10 divided by 100 you can either use 10 divided by 100 or you use 0 0.1 whichever one that suits you works fine with the calculator so i'm going to be using 10 divided by 100 so you understand that the calculator can also pick um equations when represented in the variables equals to so our f our f is the n right so since we are solving for yearly our n equals one so we have f equals oh sorry one right then equals to then d our d is t which is three years so we have three so when we press equals to now you can see we have to solve for x which is our a now you understand the reason why a wasn't taken in the first place and it brought out variable error so we need to understand this with the calculators so we do not put ourselves in problems when trying to solve or trying to like use the exact um variable so let's move on so i press equals to and the calculator solves it for me boom that fast so the answer to the question is 26,620. So if you, so A equals to 26,620. I'm going to, so if you solve this manually, you get this answer. So with the calculator, you get it that fast. Now, the good thing about using the calculator is because you can go back and replace whatever values you have. So if you have a question on, um, compound interest and you have like five questions rather than trying to like solve the five questions back to back manually with this function you can solve the first one get your answer write it down put in the next um variable or the next value for each of the variables in the calculator you get your answers like that fast so you, you get so that helps you solve um questions on compound interest easily so if there is any question you can um, drop it in the comments below thank you very much